Hi there and welcome to my local woods. I have been asked to comment on the attempted assassination of Donald Trump. Now this is not really a political channel but I do have a few things uh, to say. It's safe to say that we do not know everything, we don't have all the details so I'm not even going to attempt to get into the details at this point. But still uh, there are something here that needs to be said. So right after the shooting, uh, politicians on the left um, and also mainstream media like uh, CNN and BBC, um, they all said that they were shocked. This was so shocking to them. Okay, I have something to say to those people out there, to those politicians, to those propaganda media <laughs> journalists who said that this was shocking. You shouldn't be shocked. You should be ashamed of yourselves. I'm going to make my campfire now. And while I do that, take a look at this. I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. Maybe there will be. People need to start taking to the streets. This is a dictator. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there's unrest in our lives. Enemies of the state. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless guy. When they go low, we kill. How do you resist the temptation to run up and wring her neck? The biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right up to the right. I thought he should have punched him in the face. I said, even if you lost, he insulted your wife. Yes. He came down the escalator and called Mexicans rapists and murders. He said, well, what do you think I should have done? I said, I think you should have punched him in the face and then gotten out of the race. Mm -hmm. You would have been a hero. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said, if we were in high school, I'd take you behind the gym and beat the hell out of them. Punch some people in the face! When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump, and that's a fact. Look as his character is stabbed to death. Where is John Wilkes Booth when you need him? I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. A Missouri state senator is under investigation by the Secret Service after saying she hopes President Trump is assassinated. I will go and take Trump out tonight. And I can add to this that just days before the shooting, President Biden said, he actually said that we need to put Trump in a bullseye. Um, I, <laughs> I understand that he didn't mean that in a, in a literal sense, uh, more like a figure of speech, but still, it doesn't look good, you know? And this is not how we should talk about political opponents. And I don't care if you like Trump or dislike Trump, it's not about that. I don't care if you're politically uh, centrist to the left or to the right, it's not about that. It's about how we talk about our opponents, how we behave in society. Because what we're looking at now is at least partly the effect of years, years of mainstream media and politicians calling Trump a fascist, a dictator, um, the devil, uh, uh, Hitler. And, 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 and I mean, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to say that they have all the blame, you know, people who said that. I'm not saying that, that the shooter is to blame, of course. But this should come as no surprise. He's, I mean, Trump has been called on a daily basis a threat to democracy. And again, I don't care about your stance on that, or your opinion on that, but we can't coexist 
in a society when we talk about other people in such a manner. We, we, we just can't. And now we see what can happen. Now we see the result. And yes, I know, I know. Um, there will be people who are writing or who probably have written already things like I can't believe you fell for it and so on in the comment section. And, and th that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, you're free to do that, that that's okay. Um, but I am looking at the facts that I have available now. Um, but it's interesting how especially people on the far left are now <laughs> suddenly they became conspiracy theorists. It's, it's a bit funny. It's a bit funny how easy it was to some of those people to go there, you know? Oh, it was all staged and, uh, and all that. It's a little bit funny. According to the news, one of the people in the audience was killed. Uh, two other people um, were critically injured. Um, the shooter was killed by a sniper uh, and, and Trump had had his ear pierced by the bullet. Um, my thoughts are with the families of, um, of the victims here. Um, this is a horrible thing. This is something that should never happen in, in, in a civilized society. But it, it should come as no surprise. It should come as no surprise at all. When you think about the, the, the way people have been talking about each other. I mean, just days ago, Biden turned, you know, he turned to, to Trump and he said, uh, you're the sucker, you're the loser. And, and I, don't, I, I don't care about which side you're on politically. We just, we can't have presidential candidates addressing their opponents, their political opponents in such a manner. We just can't have that in a civilized society. We need to be better than that. These people need to be able to step onto a stage, shake hands and then debate in um, Debate like adults, not like little brats. Because what we have been seeing lately, and especially in the USA, is this unhinged, hateful environment. Now this channel has a wonderful, wonderful community. And I always see lots of intelligent, thoughtful comments under my, my videos. Um, that's that's great and uh, very motivating for me as a video creator, I will say. But sometimes I do see people coming there with hatred and and sometimes I do see people being abusive to other people in the comment section. Um, if you're <laughs> trying to be abusive to me, I don't care. I honestly don't care. Um, that's kind of just silly. But I, I, I think it's very sad when I see it. And especially when people are abusive to other people in the comment section. When that happens, and it doesn't happen often, but when it happens, it's, it's just sad, you know. And it shouldn't be like that. Let's um, learn from this. You know, and again, it doesn't matter if you're to the left or to the right politically or centrist. It really doesn't matter. Let's let's just learn from this and and try to be, you know, the best version of ourselves that we can be. So, okay, that's my video for today. Uh, like and subscribe if you liked the video, you can <laughs> uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing. That would be wonderful. Thank you for watching.